What is up guys and welcome to TechBeam. Today we're going to be talking about G-Sync and if it's right for you and if it's right for your hard-earned cash. So G-Sync, what exactly is it? G-Sync is an adaptive sync technology that's used to get rid of this. This being screen tearing. Screen tearing occurs when the graphics card is sending out less or more than the amount of frames that the monitor can receive at any given time. The frames don't come in at the same time and they overlap, very simply put, and then they tear so the screen kind of goes like that. There are three different kinds of adaptive syncing technology or adaptive sync technology, G-Sync, FreeSync, and then V-Sync. The one that we're going to be talking about today is G-Sync. I don't need no help. The primary difference between these three technologies is the type of hardware that is compatible with each type of sync. For example, FreeSync can only be utilized by AMD graphics cards. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you won't be able to utilize FreeSync. And the same goes for G-Sync. If you have a G-Sync monitor, you will only be able to use the G-Sync feature with NVIDIA cards, not with AMD cards. Unlike the other two technologies, V-Sync is actually compatible with both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards, which means you can pick whichever one you want. But the only caveat to that is that when V-Sync solves the problem of screen tearing, it introduces other problems, such as stuttering, input lag, and ghosting, all of which are just arguably way more annoying than just the screen tearing is. G-Sync is different from V-Sync because it doesn't introduce any ghosting, input lag, or stuttering and it gets rid of screen tearing. It is also different because each G-Sync monitor has a special chip in it put by NVIDIA that allows G-Sync to function, which introduces the only problem that I've ever personally found with G-Sync, which unfortunately is the price. Because of the vetting process that NVIDIA goes through with each type of monitor and the special chip added to display, which allows you to use G-Sync, there is a rather steep price difference between the G-Sync monitor and the FreeSync monitor. An example of this price difference being the Acer XG270HU and the XB271HU. They are both 144 hertz, 2560 by 1440p resolution, and TN displays. They boast one millisecond response time and are essentially the exact same monitor. The only difference besides the monitor stand is that one has G-Sync and one has FreeSync. That and that one costs $200 more than the other. Another thing to consider with G-Sync is that you must have at least a GTX 650 Ti Boost in order to use G-Sync. I've never heard of the GTX 650 Ti Boost, but it's the minimum required card to use G-Sync. And with G-Sync, the only display options you have available are HDMI and DisplayPort, and usually only one of each. So with limited I.O., the exclusivity only to use NVIDIA cards with G-Sync and the price increase, is G-Sync really worth it? Well, it kind of depends on your budget. For me, G-Sync is definitely worth it. You get an enhanced gaming experience with no screen tearing, no stuttering, no ghosting, and no input lag. When gaming on a G-Sync monitor, you are almost never taken out of the game. When I tried going from a G-Sync monitor to a non-G-Sync monitor, the screen tearing was so bad that I almost didn't even want to play my games at all. So if you're on a tighter budget and you haven't already gotten used to G-Sync before, then G-Sync probably won't be for you. It's kind of like a luxury car. Is it nice to own? Yes. Is it more expensive to own and better experience than the run of the mill sedan? Also, yes. but not everyone can afford the extra cost that goes along with the better experience. So if you're looking for the best gaming experience, then G-Sync is the way to go. I give it a 10, 10 out of 10. If you like my style and you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and if you didn't, let me know what I can improve on down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time on TechBean.